Well, hey there, everybody. It is I, Embrace the Matrix, and I wanted to give you guys this uh, quick little video I thought of when I was painting last night, and it's what you can do to extend your paint. You see, I'm using golden. I, I don't have a lot of golden here. Uh, I'm using golden pyrrole red, and as you can see, it's looking pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty desert in that container. So here's what you do: go get you a bucket of this stuff, Liquitex gel matte gel you can get glossy gel it's a medium matte gel medium this is what it is it's just a big bucket of medium you know the polymer or whatever with no pigment so you take your golden you'll see you know it's just, i buy the what is this three gallon bucket or something i don't know go back and pause it you can see the quantity, but I usually buy it, I think, on Amazon, and this is exactly what I do. So I'm running, I've been running this bottle now for well over a year because golden paint is very expensive. You know this, I know this, but we like using it, right? Of course. Well, this is what you can do. This is what you can do with any of your paints. You can use this to extend any paint. And all it is, is the polymer, I'm guessing. I'm not a scientist, so don't, you know, don't take what I'm saying, uh, you know, that this is scientific or anything. But it is, it, it's the uh, medium without the pigment. So as you can see, I'm mixing it up. And because golden, you know, is very heavy on pigment and they, it, their colors are, you know, obviously very bright and very, uh, you know, just very in your face, which is what I love. I, this is one of my favorite reds. If I want to use red, you can see in the background, I have an artist loft bottle of red. You know, I, I use that in conjunction sometimes to help extend or mix colors. But if you just want to straight extend your paint, this is the way to do it. And you're going to save a ton of money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that bucket costs you about 50 bucks. Maybe a little more, depending if you get them on sale. Sometimes you can get them for 50, 60 bucks, and it'll last you a while. I mean, it depends on how much paint you're doing. But as you can see, look, I'm almost to a full jar. And I barely put a dent in that, uh, that bucket. So I was just doing this last night, and this is, you know, I, uh, this is the second time actually, because I did it once and then I used it on my painting and then I ran low again. I said, you know what? I'm going to let people know. Maybe there's people out there who don't understand. And you can see the color. It's the same. The lighting isn't good in my new studio, but the color, it's the same. Look, it matches up. I even show you the cap. In fact, it looks brighter in the jar. It looks more vibrant in the jar than on that nasty old cap. It's probably all dried up. Who goes for the cap paint? I don't. I usually don't. I let that cap paint stay in the cap. It wants to be there. It can stay there. Anyways, I just want to throw out this quick video to you guys. Get yourself some Liquitex Medium. This is, I mean, I know I'm sure Golden sells it and maybe other people do, but this is just what the Matrix uses. And look, here we go. Back to, back to spackling. We're going in the Crimson River. The Crimson Ocean. So, hey, this is uh, my new little series. I'm going to teach you guys a few tips and tricks. Some kind of, I don't know what to call this series yet. By the time you check the title. Well, that was trippy. By the time you check the title, um, you know, I'll come up with something. So, thanks, guys. Have a good one. Catch you in the next video.